All right, so as much as it seems absolutely terrible out, things are okay. You're watching Stealth Diggers. We're gonna draw the winner of the giveaway, and we're gonna learn about spoons. You don't wanna miss it, so stay tuned. Okay, everybody, so if you've been watching all week, you know we've had a busy week. And before we get on to drawing the winner of the Stealth Diggers package, Dame is going to give you some information on what he's learned about the spoons that Stephen Hull had brought. Because, well, they've been here, he's been here, he's been researching, and it's absolutely fascinating. Not only the time era of the spoons, but in particular we have one spoon that has, well, a lot of markings on it. So why don't you start with the Puritan style? The Puritan sp style obviously has a rounded bowl. Uh, previous to this it would have been a pear-shaped bowl, but this puts it circa uh, late 1600s. It evolved <clears throat> into what we think of as a spoon bowl. This particular one has a trifid end. Uh, these were used late 1600s into the early 1700s, up to uh, latest is 1750s or so. Think about that, the latest. Mm. About the time that people were settling this part of New Hampshire, these things were already out of style. Yep. This guy here uh, with the little bumpies, it's called a dog nose. These were used from the early 1700s uh, up through the mid 1700s as well. This spoon is what we normally find around cellars. It's the rat tail, as they all have a rat tail. This spoon has, we found four engravings on it. You did. The most obvious one is here on the underside. There's also one on the top side, which is much more worn. Yeah, and extremely difficult to get a decent picture. We've tried light and everything else, but... There's a very small engraving along the ass neck. And another one actually in the spoon bowl, which is just worn right down. And you can see it's got striations where this thing has been scrubbed many, many, many times. Because there was some question of the authenticity but they are they, they look so unbelievable you think they're reproductions but they're not all of the spoons have usage marks uh, wear along one or other side uh, from spooning left or right handed yeah and there's one that's actually got uh, damage from a drop mm -hmm. they all have uh, wear inside the spoon bowl from cleaning yeah well Excellent work on the research, and this will definitely help us as we go through the season and find things such as this. So with film time to publish time, I want to make sure that I wait until as late as possible as I can to draw the winner of the package. So I'm going to jump out a couple days ahead, draw the winner, we'll come back to present day, pick up from there. All right, everybody. Here we go. Amount of unique commentators. No, I'm the commentator. Commenters, 412. Hit the start button over here. And this is where the magic happens. And the winner is, the winner is, who's it gonna be? It is Fritz Gurk. Live free or die, I want in. Thanks, great job, guys. Well, congrats, Fritz. Email me your information, mailing address, and all that stuff at stealthdiggers at gmail.com, and I will get the Stealth Diggers package out to you. Oh, yes, be sure to put in your t-shirt size. 
and it'll be in the mail shortly. All right, everybody, back to the video, which was in the past for me, but it's present day for you and, you know, continuum stuff. So congratulations to you. Now, this is an always keep them guessing moment. Yes, we just drew the winner for that contest, but you know what we're gonna do? What's that? We're gonna do another giveaway here, right now, for them. Bonus round. Bonus round, but you know what? This is gonna be a double bonus round. <laughs> all right, here's how it works. This is how SDN works. You guys all know, Mallyman24, Michael Lyman, has sent so much stuff to the shack to help out everything, but he's also sent a lot of copper rounds and coins throughout the year for giveaways. Well, you know what? There's two left. They are JFK, half dollars. One is a 1967 40% silver coin, and the other one is a 1964 90% silver coin. So this is what is going to happen. You ready for this? Actually, watch this. Leave a comment down below. That is what I will use to have the machines pick a winner. The winner, when you receive this in these two little coins, you're gonna take it and you're gonna cut the little thing in half. <laughs> and what we want you to do is keep one for yourself, but give one to somebody else. So pass on your... I would say pay it forward. So leave a comment down below. I will draw a winner for the two half dollars at the beginning of April. Nice, not too far away. Not too far away at all. So thank you everybody for staying tuned through this winter and, and just partaking in what goes on around here when it's winter. Hey everybody, it's what, June 7th? Yeah, at, in yeah. New Hampshire. <laughs> day after D-Day. And we'll be back out digging soon, so we'll see you soon. Until next time, stay young. Always keep them guessing. And live free or die, folks. That's right. Who's messaging me? <laughs> Nate. Nate, I'm in the middle of filming right now, man. We gotta start doing that when he's, when he's filming. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right, right, okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs>